Welcome, 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 my wonderful Geminis. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here to this channel, I am new to YouTube, so we are both in the same boat. I want to thank you so much for clicking on this video. I do not believe in coincidence, so welcome. My name is Kamoy. Um, as I said, I am new here to YouTube, so let me just introduce myself and what I will be doing here on this channel, okay? First of all, I am a level two certified Reiki healer, so my videos are going to be dealing mainly with your chakra system, okay? I will be pulling two chakra cards for us this week, and then I will tap into energetically what chakras um, you need to maybe pay attention to this week, and I will be pulling a second deck of card to identify the person, place, or thing, or situation that you may need to pay attention to, okay? Keep in mind that energy is fluid, so this may not resonate with everybody, so you want to take what you need and leave what you don't. I understand these videos are not for everyone. I make these videos for anyone that's on their spiritual path, anyone that feel they may be ascending and have some questions, anyone that's curious about the subconscious mind and how it works, anyone that is interested in numerology or astrology, anyone that may feel like they're on um, uh, on a path to spiritual growth, uh, may, um, like I said, need encouragement, uh, inspiration, or motivation, right? Um, this is definitely for my empath and my light workers, okay? Um, so, I pull two chakra cards, like I said, um, and then we clarify the energy with a second deck of cards, and then I will be using my Zen deck today, okay? So, we're just going to thank our angels, our guides, our ancestors, and the highest source, God within. We're going to thank... Um, the positive energy that's in the atmosphere to protect us, to help guide us. We thank clear wisdom, understanding, insight, and the strength to take action to make things happen, okay, when needed. All right, my wonderful Gemini. Now, you guys are thinkers, so you guys are all about thinking. You're intellectual, so if shit don't make sense, it just ain't happening, okay, Gemini's? But you also need to pay attention to your moon sign, wonderful Geminis, okay? Um, so this is for anyone that has a Gemini sun, moon, rising, or Venus, okay? Now, this week's energy, you guys have faith, which is a third eye chakra energy. And you have confusion, which is a crown chakra energy, which is pure spirit. Kind of interesting take. I know when you hear confusion, you want to know how is that crown chakra energy, um, so I'll get into that, but I just want to check back to see my wonderful Gemini's, what your energy was last week. Okay, so last week you guys had bittersweet, which was throat chakra, perfection, which was heart chakra, and rejection, which was crown chakra. So crown chakra energy is back again this week, okay? So we have faith, let me just write that down, and we have confusion, which is uh, crown chakra. And we got third eye chakra energy this week. Okay, so let's take a look. All right, so first of all, when your third eye chakra is blocked, let's just say that you have lack of imagination and you may have problems concentrating, okay? Um, when your third eye chakra is in balance, that's where you have your dream state. That's where you have um, a clear meditative state, especially being able to visualize, thing, visualize things in meditation. Okay. Now, when your crown chakra is um, blocked, let me just go ahead and give you some tips. And I don't want to um, miss anything, so I'm just going to look at my notes here. Okay, um, your crown chakra is definitely um, is what you can consider um, the awakened, pure connection with spirit. Okay, so this is all about realization. Okay, so this is imagination. This is realization. Okay, 
So it comes in. You imagine it's realized here because it all lies here in your penile gland, right? You imagine the realization through your third eye, right? And then you're manifesting through your your throat chakra and you're manifesting through your heart chakra, okay? And you're also, if you're not in control of your... Um, if you're not, if you're out of balance in your lower chakras, you're definitely manifesting from your lower chakras, okay? Um, which where, which is where fear, anxiety, and addictions and those things lie, okay? Um, so you want to pay attention to all of that. So when third eye energy pops up, this is definitely about you being able to use your imagination. When crown energy pops up, this is about you. Being able to maybe be addicted to spiritual things, but really not wanting to do the work. Like you find yourself just being addicted to anything spiritual, but not really wanting to do the work. It's just like for a high. Um, you're very um, spiritually um, heavily criticism. You, you, you know, um, so you criticize everybody's spirituality. Okay. Um, you over intellectualize things that doesn't really need to be over intellectualized and you can be too much in your head you know um and i have to pay attention to that one too because sometimes when i go into the spiritual realm it's so peaceful there shit i might not want to come out and deal with all of the bullshit in this realm so you can be too much in your head okay now when you're when you're um Third eye chakra, I'm sorry, when your crown chakra is balanced, this is where spiritual wisdom and spiritual connection comes from. Spiritual mastery comes from here, okay? Um, so let's talk about confusion. When confusion pops up, confusion is just saying that you're no longer in a place where you're not able to hear. Although it feels like you're going through stuff, you you do have your guides and your, um, your ancestors and whoever the guardian angels is that's in this realm to help you. You do have them there helping you. So you don't have to be in a place of confusion. You can allow the energy and the message from above to come in. Okay, guys? Um, when you see third eye fake pops up this is saying are you seeing things using your imagination or you have a lack of imagination where you're just not able to visualize things from the, the space of them being completed but you're stuck in trying to change things out of your own might okay um there's that um that scripture that says you walk by faith not by sight especially in the times that we're living in you're not going to be able to trust what you see you're going to have to go internally, my wonderful Geminis, and create from within, okay? Everybody has to start creating from within. Okay, so we have third eye energy on the board, and we have crown chakra energy on the board, which is two of the top chakras, okay? So this is definitely high manifestation energy popping out, okay? We just thank our angels and our guides for letting our Geminis know exactly what they need to know about their third eye chakra and their crown chakra. What situation, what person, what place, what thing that they need to just pay attention to as they are transitioning this week. Now, um, I don't know if I said this in the beginning of the video, but if I didn't... Um, I am going to say it now, and if I did, sorry for repeating myself, I am no longer going to be time stamping these videos with dates. I am just in the belief system that whenever you click on this video is for you. I'm going to time stamp the date while I'm doing the video, but they will not be in the description or the caption field, okay? I don't even know if the caption field is a space, guys, but you find the date. And I believe we're just going to tap into the energy for the week of... Uh, let's say the week of um, April 1st to April 7th. That's the energy we're tapping into. Okay, so you have um, postponement on the board as the overall energy on the board. And postponement is the um, four of ear, okay? And postponement is all about you staying in contemplation and maybe being passive about something. Taking the time to rest maybe because you feel burnt out, okay? 
You may even feel burnt out spiritually, like you've been trying to do things too much in your own will. So um, Spirit is saying it's time for you to step back in faith and understand that you're not confused. It's just timing. Everything is timing. And you've been trying to do things in your own will, like thinking. You've been thinking too much with your, your, with your mental and not tapping in too much to your spiritual, which is how things are manifested, my wonderful Geminis. Okay, so overall energy, you have the four of ear and the board. This is all about your mental and spiritual thinking going into contemplation like going a little bit into her, her um, hermit mode being able to recuperate take take the time to rest okay yep and as you're in there you want to pay attention to your conditioning okay because you do have popping up on the board you have the devil card popping up on the board okay when the devil card pops up it's okay please understand that this is just um capricorn coming in being persistent right but you want to be able when, when this card pops up you want to be able to confront your self limitations so postponement does not mean denial you just need to confront your limitations when this card pops up on the board this is capricorn capricorn is saying what have you tied yourself to that you don't need to what bondage have you tied yourself to what addictive thought patterns or um or habits have you tied yourself to Okay, and this can also mean what are you detaching yourself from? What are you letting go from? Right? What are you breaking free from? What self-limitative thoughts have you broken free from? And this could also mean that some of you are definitely coming out of that depressive state that you've been in. Okay? That's that's what's going on right now. You're being called to walk by faith and not by sight. Understand that all this confusion that you've been feeling is clearing up. Meditation is going to be key, my wonderful Geminis. Yep. Then your second card placement, you have the night of fire popping up. Okay. Don't be too hasty in your decision, especially if you're in hermit mode and you're resting. Okay. This was all about energy, action, right? Maybe adventure. Don't be too impulsive. All right. Maybe feeling like you're delayed in some stuff, but that's okay. You don't have to get frustrated about that because clarifying that. You have the um, the king of rain, uh, rainbow, which is the king of pentacles. This is all about, it's kind of like this is all about security, right? It, it's like whatever you're feeling is like there's a need for security, right? But you can't be too controlling because this king of pentacles and this king of rainbow energy can be controlling. You want to allow things to flow the way they're supposed to. Don't be too hasty. Don't be too domineering. Then you got the seven of ear on the board. And this is all about, yep, somebody's playing politics. You feel like you're getting away with something. You feel somebody else is getting away with something, right? Maybe you're breaking free from some of the old mental mind loops and challenges that's been feeling, making you feel like you're stuck and you can't move forward, like you've been feeling confused, okay? Yep. You have the nine of um, fire on the board. Fire is all about your intuition. So when the nine of fire comes in, this is all about your courage. This is all about you being persistent, testing your faith. Right. Third card placement, you have trust, okay? So this is definitely the um the night of water coming in. And you know water represents your emotions. That could be romance coming in. This could be your imagination, that third eye energy coming in to tell you to take, you know, have faith, see things differently. Right? Okay, so you're gonna have to pay attention to that. It could be somebody coming in that you feel like you can definitely trust now. You also have to pay attention to um, whatever jealous feelings arise that you deal with that. Or whatever jealous energy you're around, that you pay attention to that. Um, if you're feeling moody, right... You need to pay attention to your participation and everything that you're drawing to yourself. And I love when the four of um, fire pops up because the four of fire is all about celebration, right? It's all about harmony. This could be married. Maybe somebody's getting married. This definitely is about being creating your home and your community, right? And trust is coming into play. You're balancing your emotions and balancing your feelings. 
right? But you still have to pay attention to your moodiness. Yep. Because that moodiness is, is, is rooted in guilt, right? But that's really self-imposed restriction that you placed on yourself. That's your thinking. That's your thinking. Allow this confusive state to pass. Allow yourself to go into meditation, okay? You don't have to be in guilt anymore, Gemini. It's time to let that shit go. Everybody makes a mistake. Either you're allowed trying to make somebody feel like they're stuck in guilt or somebody's trying to make you feel like um, you're stuck in guilt. Either which way the energy is flowing, it's just time to let all of that shit go. People make mistakes. Either you want to be or you don't want to be with the person. It's just time to let it go. Let it go if you want to stay so you guys can heal and move past it. And if you don't want to stay, just let the relationship go. If it's not serving you, anything that's not serving that makes you feel like you want to beat up on yourself all of the time or that you want to beat up on the person all of the time, it's not working for your highest good, especially if you know it's not working for your highest good. You know, let it go. Now, sometimes letting stuff go doesn't physically mean that you have to physically let something go. It can just be you choosing to not deal with that negative energy anymore, letting that negative energy go. Right? You do have the king of fire on the board, which is all about vision and entrepreneurship and honor, right? This can also be about you having too much high expectation. And this is probably why you're stuck in this guilt because you don't understand everybody's human. You got the creator on the board. Just tell you go back to your truth. Once you go back to your truth, you got the ten of pentacles on the board, the ten of rainbow on the board. The ten of rainbow, the ten of rainbow is really about um you um being established. This is all about um wealth. This is all about like the world being offered to you. Okay. This is grounding. This is um physically grounding, being grounded in this third dimensional realm. This is about you getting rid of the guilt and being able to trust. Fourth card placement, you have three of um Ear. And once again, your ear has to do with your mental and your um, spiritual thinking. This is like, let go of the pain, Gemini. It's like y'all are holding on to something painful. Okay? Understand that all of this rejection and all of this heartbreak that you may have experienced is definitely to take you into a different place. And once you become aware of this shit, like self-aware of this shit, you can see how you're going to move in transition. Because once again, you got the hangman that's popping up. Right? You have to stop. Let go. Stop feeling restricted. Let go. Awareness is trying to come forth. Let go. You got the high priestess on the board. You got... You got a lot going on on this board. This is asking you to pay attention to your intuition. Like, take a, take advantage of your um your higher powers. This is master your subconscious mind energy right here. You're going through, pay attention to your intuition, pay attention to your inner voice, especially when it comes to healing your heart, okay? In your fifth card placement, more wonderful Geminis, you have the Thunderbolt, okay? The, when the Thunderbolt pops up, this is like the Tower card. This just means sudden change. This just means things are taking a change. This means things that were out of um, alignment is now going to be placed into alignment, okay? All of the things that no longer serve of you will be coming to an end things are finally coming to an alignment you definitely need to be patient okay you do have the seven of um rainbow on the board that's like the seven of pentacles you're gonna have to persevere to some stuff definitely new vision is coming in you will be rewarded for everything that was taken away from you and no even with this tundable energy that's asking you to be patient. Know that ten of water is coming in. Harmony is coming in. You have harmony coming in. Happiness coming in. This could be maybe marriage coming in. Okay. And if you're not doing the work, it could still go back to a place of you having misalignment. So it's important for you to do the work. You're walking by faith and not by sight, my wonderful Geminis. You're no longer in a place of confusion, but you are getting in the messages and the downloads that you need. You're getting in the guidance that you need, my wonderful Geminis. Okay? So you want to walk by faith and not by sight as you transition through this energy. 
understand that confusion does not mean that you're by yourself. Once you feel you're in a, in a confused state, you need to get silent and get quiet and go into meditation and let your angels and your guides give you the direction that you guys need, okay? Meditation is key. Make sure you drink plenty of water, my wonderful Geminis. Also, make sure you check out your ear um, 11, the ear videos. The air sign videos, uh, 1111 messages. I am offering 10 minute readings for a donation of $11.11, my wonderful Geminis. Okay, guys, I will see you in next week's reading. I hope this was helpful. Make sure you like, you share, and you subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week, okay? All right, my wonderfuls, do something kind for yourself. Be kind to yourself, guys. See you next week. Bye.